Hi, I'm Radana. I can't tell you how thankful I am that you have taken some time out of your day to watch this video and I want to welcome you to this beauty class. It means a lot to me and it also means a lot to my hostess. So I hope that you enjoy the class and that you have some takeaways with some tips and tricks. I am a Saint Beauty artist and this is my palette that I use. This is a larger palette because I'm addicted and I have a lot. <laughs> But I want to start with just doing a glow this morning. So I'm going to start with my bronzer and my illuminator. And I just mix those two a little bit. And then I'm going to lightly go in to create some warmth. All of our tins are highly pigmented. So you don't need much at all. And then it blends really beautifully. I do have a silicone free primer on this morning that I love. I have older skin. I am almost 58 years old and I have some things that I'd like to smooth out as much as I possibly can. So the bronzer going on first is not the traditional method that you might see all over TikTok and social media with the dots and the cheetah hack. But I think sometimes for older skin, for older ladies, like we we just we need to do it our way and for me i need to brighten up and um, give some warmth to my face so i feel like i have a little bit of warmth in here okay now i have two shades that i like to use and i'm going to go into sandy that's my main shade and instead of doing the dots all over the place, I just tap into my tin and apply how much I think that I need. You use a less than you think. Use a lot less than you think. As you can tell, I just tapped into that bronzer slightly and it gave a really ni nice bronze. And that was minuscule amounts. It's just so nice that it lasts for a good long time. So this is my main. This is mostly sandy that I'm putting on. But I also like to use a little bit of amber. You can see I use sandy a little bit more. Um, amber is a little bit warmer. So I'm going to put just a couple dabs of that on as well. I do like the three dimensional look that this makeup brings. So this is just my bronzer with a little bit of illuminator and then my main shade. Now I'm gonna go in with my lightest shade. I like linen, but this one is white peach and I also like that one. Sometimes I do a mix of a little bit of each one, but I wanna brighten up some of these areas. A lot of times I will also use the Demi Correctors under here think for the sake of the speed of this video and the time that you are taking to watch this, I will just show the main things and I'd be happy to help you with the demi colors if you want some color correction. So I'm going to do the linen in the inner corners. You can tell probably a lot of us have that really dark inner eye. The skin is just so thin in there. There's nothing wrong with our eyes. That happens as we get older. Our skin just gets thin and we see all the veins on our eyes as well. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of the white peach, which is another lighter shade. And I'm just going to put that very lightly in this section here under my eye. Because I think that gives me a little more of a natural cover rather than just that stark light of the lightest shade. And that's just my skin tones. That's just what I have found works best for me. I'm not saying that you need multiple of everything. I will match you with just um, four main colors and then some uh, eyeshadows if you would like those and the illuminator, which I think is great. So now this is my linen, the brightness, the brightener, the lightest shade, and that's gonna go down the center here. 
The reason we put that in the center is it's starting to create that 3D effect and the lighter brings out some of our features. Okay, looks kind of crazy. It all blends together, so great. Okay, now I'm gonna use my 3D brush and I'm gonna use the fluffier end and I'm just going to start blending a little bit. Okay, you can start to see the dimension starting. Now I'm gonna go in with my contour. That's the best one. And I'm using this end, kind of pinch this in together, kind of dab into my contour. You can barely see that there's any on there, but that's really all that I'm going to need. See that shadow that it has created now? That's really all that you need. There's no need to put a giant stripe on your face because you're blending so much of that in at that point that you're causing some uh, shadows or some muddiness to form. And I'm not about that. I just want the chiseled out look. Chiseled out. Okay, now I'm gonna try and chisel out my double chin. <laughs> so that contour then is going down here. And I'm going to blend that down. So the thing with contour, you put it here and you blend it down. You put it on your cheekbone and you blend up because we want that lifted look. All the lift we can get, ladies. Let's get all the lift. And then I'm just going to put a little bit up here and just kind of tap that in. I'm not done blending, so don't worry if you see this and think, oh, she's got this stripe in the middle of her face. It's fine, I'm not done blending. I am gonna go ahead and add some of my blush, and I have two that I really like. I use plum and grape, pink grape, uh, yeah, plum and pink grapefruit. So I tap into both of those at the same time, and then I just tap in. I will come back and blend those. A little bit but again very very little I like a little bit of color of my blush up here it's already coming together I'm gonna go ahead and use plum on my lips I have a chapped a chapped crack spot on my lip because in Indiana I can't figure out if it's gonna be spring or winter so that's plum on my lip plum and pink grapefruit on my cheeks right now. Now I'm gonna use my favorite brush. This is the blush bronzer bl brush and bronzer blush. I'm gonna take this fluffier end and I'm just going to swirl mix, swirl up. And I think this gives the best airbrush look that you can get. Look at how much color that brought in and just those easy steps. That's the main colors that I will match you with. And then I'm gonna do my eyes. And if you're interested, watch that second video. I'm so thankful that you joined us.